This is the USTA Commonwealth Tennis Tournament in Lynchburg, Virginia. This is my doubles partner, Viggy. And here's my friend, Alex. Let's go. We got time to watch my friend Chris play his first match in a singles draw. However, I could not watch long because I needed to get focused and ready for my first match. I made sure to stretch and hydrate in order to be ready for my first singles match. I am competing in the men's open for the singles and doubles draws. Before I am called to play, I am motivated by my friend Chris winning his first match. Yeah, got the first dub of the, of the day. <laughs> Moving on to the next round. I'm talking about Chris. My first match in the singles tournament is against Freddie Roberts. He is currently unrated, so I did not have a great idea of his skill level going into the match. However, during the warm-ups, I was feeling good and felt confident and ready to go. Here is the first match between myself and Freddie.
next string is hard. Freddie took control of the first set fairly easy. Freddie moved me around the court very well and outlasted me in the rallies. After the first set, I began to realize how good Freddie actually is. However, I am way too competitive to not fight even harder going into the second set, focusing on keeping the ball in play longer than I did in the first set.
Are you kidding? I saw out. You didn't even see it. I saw it just out. Come on, bro.
The camera died after this point. After the comeback that was building, Freddy was finally able to put a stop to it by winning his last and final service game to clinch the match to move on into the next round. I should have changed shirts. <laughs> Here was showtime. We are going into the mall after my first match, after that big L against that. Probably one of the most controlish players I've played. Like that dude did not miss. He was good. Uh, but now it's time to get freshened up here in the mall to get ready for the second match. Freddy, Freddy, what's up, bro? <laughs> so I've got a YouTube channel. Oh, there you go. Match is going to be on the channel. Oh, so. perfect. Perfect. He's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're looking forward to playing you on doubles, too. That's actually like really funny that we ran into Freddy. <laughs> I wonder if my Freddy asked about playing. I wonder if he's playing you next. <laughs> like, I need to get ready. <laughs> yeah. Grilled nuggets. Oh, Freddy was good, man. I think if I play him again, it'll be a better match. I'll start to figure it out. I mean, I tell y'all, y'all had a little confrontation. We did have a little tension in the match, but like, I apologized after, and he like completely understood. Like, he completely understood that, you know, like, this is tennis. You know, we're gonna. We're both like players that care and passionate about the sport. Like we're gonna be intense. That's just how it is. So, hey, I apologize. He's like, man, no need to apologize. Like it's, that's tennis. And I was like, I respect that. Man, look at his partner. His partner looks a little bit more offensive. They look like they're still complement each other pretty well in doubles. Me and Biggie will have to play the Biggie got double bageled by his partner. I think me and uh, Showtime late. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go head back to the house. He's got some laundry to do. <laughs> And then uh, I need to relax and change shirts because I apparently didn't do that before coming to the mall. This is good. Uh, I'm trying to do a lot more vlogging this tournament because I didn't vlog nothing. Like the last tournament on my YouTube channel, it's literally just highlights. Because I didn't vlog a lick of nothing. So I'm trying to vlog a little bit more. Bro, it's so hot out here. Dude, yeah, I'm dying. Like by the first match, Freddy was killing me. Like Freddy might have been charged with murder <laughs> after that match. Like that dude would not miss. So. The only way I was in the point is if I just kept rallying with them. That's it forever. Next time we'll get a showtime on a, on a tournament. Took me long enough to change shirts, but I'm getting ready, trying to get refreshed. I'm drinking water, I'm drinking Gatorade. I'm drinking it all, just trying to stay hydrated because it is like 100 degrees. And I think, uh, I think showtime lay down there. Watching my YouTube channel now. <laughs> uh, what a match, what a first match. But once we got in the rallies, I learned I could not hit through this guy. Uh, every ball was coming back. Uh, it took me too long and the last set to finally learn, you know, just this forehand slice would work. Uh, I hate slicing just because it's an ugly game, but uh, like Freddie told me at the end of the match, ugly wins. Uh, so don't, don't worry about uh, playing ugly because sometimes it, that's what it, you, you, do, you do what you have to do to win. Uh, for my game, slicing works. I'm athletic and I can get to pretty much anything. So slicing the ball gives me plenty of time to anticipate and get to every ball. And plus it also can throw your opponent's balance and, and pacing and timing off. So I will need to incorporate that slice next time I play him, if I play him, if I have the opportunity to play him again. The next match is against Biggie. Uh, Biggie, I actually will need to change shoes because uh, in that first match with Freddie, I could not slide. And I I like to slide and I could not slide hardly any of these shoes. That's the thing, I don't have any like new shoes. All my shoes are in their last legs and I've just brought four different pairs. Four different pairs of shoes that all have like holes on them. Like running out the sides of them. <sighs> I'm not that flexible right now. There it is. Screenshot, I don't know, pause it, do what you want, but just believe me, uh, there's holes in all my shoes, and I, it's just so expensive, but I got like four different pairs of them. I just burn through them in like a week, two weeks, if I play a lot of tennis, and if I'm sliding a lot. And I like to slide. That's, once you once you start sliding, you learn how to have fun playing tennis. After losing Freddie in the first round, I am now in the consolation. 
bracket. I think it's just one match. I think it's literally one match. It's the Constellation Final. There's only six players in the Men's Open draw. If I'm correct, there's only one match and it's me and Biggie. Whoever wins this takes the Constellation winner. So I'm looking forward to playing Biggie. I think it's gonna be a good match. Definitely a conserve energy for doubles to make sure I'm pushing to win, but let's not overdo it because he is my doubles partner. We don't need to get heated at each other before we play together. So that is one thing about this tournament. I knew singles was gonna be tough. Doubles is definitely something I pride myself on. So it's like, I really was prioritizing doubles in this tournament. And I picked Biggie because we played together one time uh, at a club tennis make sure thing. We got to play together and we did really well. And I was like, you know, this is a lot of fun. Let's give this a shot. So I'm looking forward to putting that together and playing good doubles. We both lost to both of the people we're playing. So we have a little more to play for. We want to play for our revenge. We want to play not only to win, but we want to play for uh, Biggie got double bagel against the guy that he played single. So I'm sure winning in doubles would mean a lot to him. So we're doing it. Let's go. I'm wearing the same shirt and the match that Showtime's watching that I am What's wearing from my Arizona. I need to start putting background music in my highlights more often. Let's get to the courts. Come on.